Fast as lightning, sharp as a sword. Greetings, YouTube. I'm Lightning Sword, and we are currently in the middle of a Season 6 hiatus. And I'm already bored out of my skull. Sure, my fix, my job, and my Pokemon content keep me busy, but it's a special situation with ponies, you know? Am I right? Am I right? Is there a Pony Addicts Anonymous? But the good news is, the show's coming back on the 30th, and it will restart with a Rainbow Dash episode. F*** my life! Well, in the meantime, let's focus on the season as it is so far. We are about halfway through it, after all. And I think there's no better way for me to do that for you, the viewers, than to run back through each episode of the season from worst to best. Disclaimer! These are my opinions. You will hear copious amounts of unrepentant loathing and criticisms aimed at Rainbow Dash and Starlight Glimmer. I have preferences, like any other reviewer. It doesn't make me biased, it makes me not boring. And if you haven't noticed, I do offer legitimate reasons why an episode does well or does poorly. When I did my Newbie Dash review, I didn't just dislike it because Dash. The episode was bad, and I explained why. Those yelling bias were wrong. Okay? And before you ask, no, I'm still not watching a heartwarming tale. And this is probably the only exception to the bias thing I brought up. I detest Starlight Glimmer and the way the whole show pleasures her whenever she's on screen. It's getting old, and I've given up on her. I'm sure the music is fantastic, but music does not a good episode make. Don't. You. Dare. But since I haven't seen it, I can't rate it, so it won't be on this list at all. Anyway, I'll keep my thoughts on each one as succinct as possible for the sake of time. And without further ado, here are my best and worst MLP Season 6 Part 1 episodes ranked from worst to best. Number 10. No second prances. Horrible, inconsistent characterization a muddled, forced plot, and more ruination of Starlight Glimmer's quote-unquote redemption easily ruin what could have been a great premise. Twilight shows incompetence as a teacher and animosity towards someone she'd already easily forgiven, which happens a lot, doesn't it? Trixie is still the same, even though we were given at least an implied promise that she'd change, and Starlight is a bland, whiny, annoying Mary Sue. And don't even try to tell me she's not. She's extraordinarily powerful, her very few flaws are meant to be endearing, she has a tragic backstory that forces you to pity her, and every main character likes her and wants to be her friend. Mary Sue, period. Moving on. As of now, this episode was so bad, I still haven't done a proper review for it. But the vid I did in its stead was not my best moment, and you viewers deserve better, so I'm planning on doing it right. But I'm gonna need some help. Some help from a reviewer who could probably do this episode leagues better than I can. I wonder if Keyframe would be willing to participate. Nah, probably not. <laughs> Number 9. Newbie Dash. Rainbow Dash finally becoming a Wonderbolt should be a great event, right? Not the way this car crash of an episode made it. Twisted logic, cringeworthy moments, and nonsensical reasoning are what ruined this episode. To say nothing of the unnecessary, copious amounts of torment of one of the main characters. That I would have immensely enjoyed in any other case. And yes, I'll be having another soapbox moment here, so bear with me. But the Wonderbolts are bullies in this episode. Just because they all do it, and just because they all excuse it, doesn't make it right. It's the bandwagon effect, and it's a fallacy of the worst kind. I don't care how you interpret it, I don't care if the military buffs call me a wimp, and with respect to Firebrand, frankly, I don't give a shit what he had to say about it. It's still wrong. Some of you say, well, it's a military thing, you wouldn't understand. Degrading your comrades is not some team building exercise. Military hazing doesn't promote solidarity. It strips you of your identity and turns you into something your commanding officer can easily control, and glorifies it by calling it teamwork. 
This is teamwork. This is bashing you down when you step up above the others. Which is sad, because even Rainbow Dash deserves better than that. We're going to repeatedly and mercilessly remind you of your horribly failed first impression every day for the rest of your life as a Wonderbolt, breaking your spirit and making you a silent and well-behaved cog in the military-industrial complex. But no, we're totally not bullying you. It's teamwork. Screw you, Spitfire. Screw you. Number 8. The Crystalling. Without a doubt, the weakest season opening ever written. Sure, we got to see the Crystal Empire again, and we were given the new baby character we were promised in Season 5, but that was all supposed to be the main event. The title clearly says so. Instead, we got Episode 1 of My Little Starlight, Entitlement is Magic. Starlight does nothing but whine, she visits her estranged friend in a completely unrealistic scenario, and there are hardly any stakes in the climax. And all of this makes the baby's debut into the B-plot, which isn't fair. Again, more Starlight service ruins the episode, and she hasn't even earned it. Sure, Sunburst is kind of an okay character, but if that's the episode's only saving grace, then never mind. Number 7. Applejack's Day Off. Meh. Number 6. On Your Marks. Another huge milestone in the show that could have been done a little better. Except whereas Newbie Dash failed spectacularly, this episode made all the logical decisions it should have made. It shows the Crusaders wondering what's next for them, it shows them using their talents, and it shows the doubt that Apple Bloom has in her own identity. And we got Tender Taps as another great male side character. Overall, it wasn't bad, it was just... weak. This is a big moment for the Crusaders, and it didn't even focus on all of them, just Apple Bloom. But at least she's aware of her own identity's dependence on her cutie mark crusading and strives to change it. Do the same for Sweetie Belle and Scootaloo, and I'd say well done. Number 5. The Gift of Mod Pie. Now we're getting into the good stuff. Party Pooped in Season 5 was the first big step in Pinkie Pie being a better character in my eyes. This episode was the second. She's very well written here, which is just one of the episode's perks. We have Rarity's funny lines, Maud returning with more deadpan wit, it synchronizes well with past events in the seasons, and it has a pretty good message overall. If only this hadn't happened. Number 4. Spice Up Your Life. The third chapter of Pinky's character arc that made me warm up to her more. It shows a respectable side of her that I can relate to. And the new cultures, great message, and smoking hot new character only add the sumptuous flavor to a great main course. And for dessert, critic shaming! Amazing. Number three, Gauntlet of Fire. They've done it. They finally did a Spike episode and did it right. True, it disappears from continuity two episodes later, but still. This episode shows more behind dragon culture, has awesome action sequences, and establishes Spike as a selfless hero in his own right. I love when the writers are on point, because when that happens, they don't play around. And since it didn't get done when I asked in my review, I might as well do it myself. Cease and desist and peace in Diego! Nice! 
just fix that mess up with Twilight being too scared to attack an adolescent dragon. And this would have been number one, easily. Huh, but what episode is perfect? Well... Number two. Saddle Row and Wreck, or the Saddle Row Review. This episode is about as close to perfect as you can get. The hilarious scenes, the unique narrative style, the way each character got a chance in the spotlight, the in-gags and cameos, the way everything just came together brilliantly. Really, there are hardly any flaws in this episode. It's just incredibly well done, and I would call this the best Season 6 episode so far if I could. In my eyes, the only thing better than a great episode with hardly any flaws is an episode with one glaring flaw that is resolved perfectly in the end. Which brings me to... My number one best episode in season six so far. Come on guys, you know me by now. You knew this was coming. Flutter Brother. This isn't just my raging inner Flutter fan talking. This episode is spectacular. It tackles a real-world problem, doesn't pull any punches, and does so with the right amount of depth, emotion, and soul to make it just short of a masterpiece. Fluttershy's character is handled extraordinarily well in this episode, and I loved seeing her as a strong, no-nonsense mentor character. You can keep your Flutter Hulks and your Flutter Bats, but Sassy Shy is best shy. But the main event in this episode is the character arc. Zephyr Breeze started right out of the gate as one of the worst characters in the entire show, if not the worst. And his experiences and actions led him to realize he was wrong, reflect on why he avoids responsibility, and change his ways with his sister's kindness as his guide. And it works! It works better than any redemption arc we've seen yet. Basically, Zephyr Breeze accomplished in one episode what took Discord seven episodes to fail at, and what Starlight has gone through for seven episodes and continues to fail at. He became a better character. Maybe it's a personal thing, maybe not. Maybe I broke my vow not to be subjective, maybe not. But be that as it may, this episode took an excellent message and executed it beautifully. And even if this weren't about Fluttershy, this would easily be one of my favorites of this season. So there's the recap of the first half of Season 6. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you have your own countdown of Season 6 so far, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear how you guys rate the season so far. Anyway, if you like this video, you know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see each other again at the beginning of Season 6, Part 2. Until then, this is Lightning Sword. Stay quick, stay sharp. And thanks for watching.